Pokemon! Recognized the world over, the franchise is one of the biggest video game phenomenons ever to grace the industry. And with that in mind, here's 10 cool things about Pokemon! Pokemon was originally called Capsule Monsters, but was renamed as the creators had trouble acquiring the trademark. They also tried the trademark Kapumon, and then Pocket Monsters. The name Capsule Monsters was inspired by Japanese Gashapon machines. Satoshi Tajiri's concept for Pokemon was realized in a manga of the same name. Inside its pages, many of the ideas that have since become so familiar to gamers everywhere were created. Battles with other trainers en route, the shape of the Kanto region, and Pokeballs were all depicted in the concept art for the game. More interestingly is the appearance of some early Pokemon designs. The front cover of the manga depicts two Pokemon battling it out as the trainer looks on. These would eventually become Nidorino and Gengar, who are famous for appearing in the opening sequence to Pokemon Red and Blue. That's exactly why these two seemingly random Pokemon appear together, to pay homage to the original manga concept. The first Pokemon ever designed was Rhydon. In the earliest designs for Capsule Monsters, Rhydon appears multiple times and looks pretty close to his final design. This explains why you see random Rhydon statues in some of the games, and their significance. There are originally going to be 190 Pokemon instead of 151. 39 of them would later appear in Pokemon Gold and Silver. By checking the game's code, you can see the orders in which the Pokemon were entered into the game. Rhydon being the first, and ending with Victory Bell. Since Ken Sugimori, the designer of the Pokemon, confirmed that Rhydon was the first Pokemon ever designed, it can also be inferred that the Pokemon were put into the game in the order in which they were originally intended to appear in the Pokedex. The ordering also proves that all 190 Pokemon were conceived before the original game's release. Ape Incorporated were originally a company that worked on the NES game Mother. Ape later reformed as Creatures Incorporated. Ape worked on the SNES game Earthbound, and later helped Game Freak create Pokemon Red and Blue as Creatures Incorporated. This explains the visual similarities between the two games. The main villain in Mother, Gygus, has a battle sprite that resembles Mewtwo. He also uses a mental power called Psy. Additionally, there's an item in Earthbound called Bag of Dragonite, which turns any party member into a dragon that can deal massive damage to enemies. Pokemon Gold and Silver were planned as the final Pokemon games. As explained in an interview between Nintendo President Satoru Iwata and Pokemon Company CEO Tsunekazu Ishihara, Gold and Silver were considered the last Pokemon games when they were developed. According to Ishihara, I didn't intend to make any more Pokemon titles. I even thought that once we had entered the 21st century, it would be time for me to do something else entirely. But of course, plans changed after Pokemon Gold and Silver's success outpaced the original games. Game Freak, now synonymous with Nintendo, once created a game published by Sega. Judging by its love for Pikachu, Pokemon developer Game Freak clearly has a thing for its electric-powered heroes, but that love predates Pokemon. Pre-Pokemon Game Freak made games for several different companies, including a game called Pulse Man for Nintendo's then-rival Sega. Not released outside Japan until recently on the Wii's Virtual Console, this game never got a sequel, but you can see Game Freak's continued love for its would-be mascot in the form of electric ghost Pokemon Rotom, which bears a striking resemblance to the Genesis hero. Prior to release of Pokemon Red and Blue, the game was rejected multiple times by Nintendo until Shigeru Miyamoto took interest. When Game Freak wanted to start development, they required funding, and thus the team worked on smaller Nintendo projects to obtain the funds. After Shigeru Miyamoto became Satoshi Tajiri's mentor, Satoshi gave thanks to him by making the default rival name Shigeru. Satoshi made himself the default name for the protagonist. This can be found in the Japanese Generation 1 Pokemon games. More interestingly though, Red and Blue's default names in the game's coding are Ninten and Sony respectively, a reference to Nintendo's rivalry with Sony in the games industry during the PlayStation and N64 era. Mew was the first Pokemon name to be trademarked, even before the name Pocket Monsters. Mew was trademarked in 1990, while Pocket Monsters was trademarked in 1995. Mew was secretly added at the very end of development and was initially not intended to appear in the game. However, due to a glitch, Mew started to appear seemingly naturally without cheats in some players' games. Two early Pokemon designs are named Godzillant and Gorillamo. Godzillant is most likely based on the reptilian monster Godzilla, and Gorillamo could be based on Donkey Kong or the universal monster King Kong. Not much is known about either Pokemon. Their designs could have been developed into other Pokemon as they vaguely resemble Tyranitar and Slacking. 
The theme of Lavender Town in red and blue was changed between the Japanese and North American releases of Pokemon. The original version had a pitch set too high. It was just outside the normal hearing range for an adult, but within the average hearing range for children, and was also said to cause headaches. This led to rumours stating that the theme was changed due to Japanese children committing suicide after the song gave them a headache. Pokemon has sold over 245 million units worldwide across six generations and across seven platforms, with the first generation red, blue and green selling over 23 million copies alone. Pokemon is the second biggest selling video game franchise of all time. And that's 10 things about Pokemon. Thanks for watching, I hope you learned something and don't forget to like this episode and subscribe for more from the series.